everyone, uh, this is Daniel and this is a continuation of the uh, videos for the blog on how Power Apps can be a one-stop shop for social media communication. Um, so in this section of the video, what I'm going to do is actually show you how you can take that um, STP file that I provided um, and you can go ahead and build your SharePoint list. So what I've done is I actually have this little site collection over here. Uh, so what first thing I'll do is I'll go to site settings, um, go to list templates, And in the list template, I'll upload that one uh, social media STP file that I've provided. Um, so basically, you just download that STP file from the blog, uh, save it in a location that you know where it is, because uh, you will have to come over here and uh, pick that STP file. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going ahead and adding that template, which is an STP file over here. Um, and now we can go basically to uh, the site. So I can go over here back to the test site. Um, in this case, I'm actually going to go to uh, a subsite. So I'll go to subsites. In this case, I have a subsite one. In that subsite, now I'll go ahead and um, create uh, this one um, app. So in this case, don't use list, use app. Because now we got to search for it. Um, Social media is an S and it's also a template. So it's probably going to be at the back. There you, there you go. It's social media. So I'll click on that and I can just give it the same name. Social media. And I'll go ahead and create it. And now you can see that it is created. It's new. I'll click on it. Um, there you go. So I have now my list and uh, let me just double check just to make sure everything's okay. You know, the column names and all of that. Yeah, they're all good. So um, this is just a quick tutorial on how are you able to get that STP file and put it up on uh, on your SharePoint site. Um, you got to add the template first and then go ahead and create the, uh, the list with that. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, if you don't want to create it this way, you're more than welcome to create it uh, manually. Uh, just make sure that the column names are corrected, which is correct, which is why I provided that screenshot in the blog. So follow that. Um, changing the column names is fine, but it's going to mess up with the power apps because then you got to go ahead and change the column name over there. So it's just best that you maintain the column names as it is. Uh, build the app, and then after it's built and functioned, you can go ahead and modify it and add more features to it. Uh, but for the sake of this blog, kind of maintain it, um, those steps, so it'll just work well. Um, so that's the end of this section. Uh, in the next section, now we will take that uh, Power App template and connect it to this list.